today I would like to talk about MongoDB and enabling replica sets on it so you can have automatic failover. So let's get started. Uh, basically uh, what I'm going to do is just make some directories here RS1, RS2 and RS3. So for each of the MongoD uh, versions that are running uh, I will create a different uh, uh, directory to hold the data. So the data option is DB path RS1 and since I'm just going to be running it locally on my Mac I'm going to have two three different ports on it and just to run it in the background I have three different log files for each of them and the only other thing you have to do to make it a replica set at least when you start this is to have a name for it so I'm going to just give it a name of Yogi so this is all the commands I have in the shell and uh, let me just uh, run those commands so it is and as you can see if I do a ps minus ef grab mongod my uh, replica set mongod versions are not running now how do I connect to it is very easy uh, normally by default we can connect to port 27017 so I can just have a mongo client run like this and uh, only other thing now I want to do is to establish this as a replica set so I have to give it a configuration so I'll go to that portion now and it's pretty easy uh, I'm going to specify a configuration here as shown and let me just type it in as a variable so you can see that variable all it did was uh, gave a JSON saying we are talking about the replica set Yogi and these are the members and I gave three different IDs to each of the members and the host is local host to 2707, 2708, 2009 so this is the configuration and once you have given the configuration you have to make specify that this configuration is for a replica set so to do that you just run the command rs.initiate and give it the configuration so I'm going to do that and here you can see it has the configuration and I'm connected to the secondary for example here right now and I can also say I can get the replica set status and here you can see uh, my primary is 2707 and the other two ones are secondary so let's see how you can uh, connect to this to a mongo uh, robo mongo client and uh, I'm just going to show that and uh, let me just edit it because I know this thing I want to connect to the primary here for example so I'm going to save it and connect so I'm going to create a database here called book and uh, in this book I can uh, look at the collections for example and create a collection called uh, <coughs> list uh, maybe I just call it list for example here and uh, we can just insert some document here title is equal to the first book and author is yogi for example and we can validate that it is correct json and just save it and we can look at this document and as you can see we got one document here and it's connecting so that's all good so what I'm going to do is just exit Robo Mongo for now and uh, this is the way you can connect to that. So let me also demonstrate how you can see the failover from primary to secondary. So I'm going to do PS minus EF uh, back and see my Mongo D versions running and I'm going to kill the primary which is the I know because it's port 27017 so it's going to be kill 33 six to six so I will uh, just kill the primary so once I've killed the primary we can again check the status and see it's gone so we only have two of them now how do I connect to this thing because if I just try to connect to it as a mongo client it's going to fail because it's trying to connect to the right port so to connect to the replica set uh, typically what you want to do is uh, just have a command like this which is very straightforward it says mongo dash dash host <coughs> this is the name of the replica set and a slash and then I list the host and the port so I am going to try to connect to this and see if it works and if I do you can say it is already connected and everything is good and we can check the Republica 
uh, stat status. See, it is elected 27019 as the primary. This one is a secondary, and this secondary is not reachable and healthy. And uh, so you can see the automatic failover work. Espe especially in the Mongo, uh, Robo Mongo, I'm going to show you how to connect in this case because Robo Mongo does not really support uh, connecting to a replica set. So what you can do is basically, since we know the pr primary is going to be on port 27019, in this case, we can just test it and uh, connect and uh, we should be able to see our collections and everything else and it's all good and actually if you want you can open a shell in robomongo and check the status and so you can check the replica status also so this is actually a very good way to uh, quickly come up to speed and build a replica set and have failover and everything in Rob uh, MongoD. Thank you very much for watching this screen shortcast. If you want to know more, you can just uh, Google and go to my website and find these and other useful videos. Thank you for watching this short screencast.